Hi guys, Vexia with Oh, me. Do we <laughs> That is the perfect way for you to sign on. I think it really is. Hi guys, uh, I'm Pause is... on Pause Zisto Zombie Cleo. Yeah, no, no, this is Joe Hill's uh, Howdy. Um, of legendary redstone smash the blocks together fame. So with a new skin? I think a new skin. Yes, I was feeling a little blue, and I thought it would be fun to mix things up a bit. Speaking of smashing the blocks together, yes, have we got some blocks smashed up here for you? This is totally unique. I think I've never seen anything like this in Minecraft. It's crazy. It's insane. This is a map by Leonard Richardson. He took 160,000 maps, downloaded them from all the different map uh, download services like Planet Minecraft or whatever, um, pulled the 70,000 that had the coolest spawn chunks, and combined them into one map. Yeah. This is the starting spawn chunk of all these custom maps strewn together, and you called it a quilt? Yeah, it's kind of like a quilt. It's, it's like a tapestry. So and and so like this guy here, Omega, a modern home by Northway. Oh, where'd you go? I lost you. Uh, um, dang it, I fell in a pit. But I mean, you're you're this bright blue. Yeah, how hard so. should it be? I, I see you. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say I'm going in this house to see if there's food because I'm getting hungry. So yeah. we set this up as a kind of month long gallery exhibition type thing where pretty much anybody who I know who's cool and does YouTube videos can join this server and check out the concept. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's really cool. I'm really excited to see how people play this, because this is such a... Oh, that's a creeper. Um, and that stairwell doesn't go anywhere. So I'm going to go back the way we came, Vetches, before the creeper. Okay, yeah. There we go. Up and out. Um... Hey, a bunch of ender chests, if only my inventory wasn't empty. Um, but yeah, we have no idea how people are going to play this, really. Rules are, it's survival mode. Mm -hmm. Have fun. Mm -hmm. Go around, wander, explore. Um, whoa. Where are you at? I broke it. I broke it. The map is ruined now. I broke Dang it. it. You broke it. I broke it. I gotta find me some food. Mm-hmm. I found a bed. I'm gonna go ahead and steal that. <laughs> Now, you'll notice that there's some chests in here that have signs, or not signs, books. Like this one says Sky Parkour, a mix of Skyblock and Parkour, because apparently yeah. that's what that map was. Oh, hey, dude, I found an awesome house that all seems to fit into one chunk. Oh, teleport me to you. No. Because I, I lost you again. We're survival. Okay, Vitch. Uh, okay. Survival. Okay. Survival. Negative 367, 75, negative 157. Negative 367. What in our history together makes you think I'm, I'm capable of, like, remembering all that on the fly and finding you? You are probably not. That's a good point. Okay, w give me a landmark. What's near you? Do you see the big blue water pillar? America. I'm by the giant American flag. There's an American flag. Yes. What's okay, I see you. I see you down flag. there. Okay. It's not very well made. But... I'm on my way to you before I starve to death. I'm on my way to go home and become a family man. I see that you have a, a little collar shirt there. Um, oh, wait, are oh, yeah, you making an American Dad joke? Not no, I was guy? making a uh, gal theme joke. Oh, guy. Oh. Gal theme goes with everything. Gotcha. Okay, so I don't think I can easily get to you, but we're nearby each other. There you are. Okay. I'm right behind you, you derp. <laughs> well, then, then good. <laughs> so let's find some food before I starve to death. Um, What's wrong with starving? Can you eat? Can you eat um, coffee beans? I don't think so. Now, oh, there's a chicken. We're going to have to cook it, but... Mm. One, one of the things that I've... Oh, hey, there's so an So tell us, tell us about the, the script, though. Like, exactly... What's this guy's background? He works this? as a programmer for the New York Public Library Labs. His name is Leonard Richardson. And he wrote a script using the Python code, the Python library that underpins mcedit. So essentially, like, you can just write mcedit commands directly if you know what you're doing. I found a ton of food. Oh, that is fantastic. I would um, love a food. Do you know where I am? Yeah, I'm looking at you in the window like a stalker. Oh, okay. Well, come like, here. Really, and I'll... You're just staring at you. <laughs> you're window. just watching me eat. 
Yes. Normally I charge money for that sort of thing, but come on in. No, 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 no. no. And I, uh, there's a there's another pick in the chest. Taking there. all of these. These are mine now. This is mine. Boom. So, uh, was the was the notebook chest in here? Because every one of these has a chest with a book in it, and it tells you the map. It yeah, it tells you who made the map. It's kind there's of a the... a credit book because uh you know working for a library, Leonard thought it was important that people get credit for the stuff they make. You know, uh -huh. authors are big on attribution. He actually also writes science fiction. Um, hmm. I see. But yeah. Is, yeah. What uh, have we shown the viewers an example of a credit book? I've shown them on my screen, but I don't think I, I think I saw one. It was under a tree, and then I then we. But I was like, they haven't. I haven't told people about it yet, so I can't show them yet. Well, here's a dark tower. This is probably a bad place to be. I don't have anything that produces light. I just It's so crazy to think that each one of these chunks is from a different map. There's one. There's one. It seems like if the chunk is like blank, it spawns one in a tree frequently. If so there's this, no uh... containers in the chunk, it replaces one of the random inconspicuous blocks with it. So this is uh, by Jordan BT, original. Let me open this up. Ultimate NPC Village by Jordan BT. It's got the link there when the date it's published. So this chunk here is from that map, mm -hmm. but only this chunk, and then it cuts off. Like, as you can see, the chunk cuts off right here, and then that's another chunk from another map. And it's all these out to... Does this go out to infinity, or does it stop? Um, there's... It's about... It goes out to about 2,000, negative 2,000 uh, ah. on either side. Oh, this is neat. So, this is a Beacon Street Lamp. Oh. Which was way, probably think. made uh, by somebody who didn't have to use survival mode to create the beacon and then block it with a fence post. Yeah, I was about to say, that's a little expensive, I think. Yeah, they also used bedrock for the streets. So that's somebody who takes their urban plan in super seriously, yo. Uh, yeah. Now, you'll notice that there's a bunch of command blocks in here. But if you, I guess we, we're not in creative mode, so you can't click on them anyway. Mm -hmm. um, he tried to initially whitelist command blocks and like only get rid of the ones with teleporting or this or that, but he realized that there were so many things that command blocks could do. How do I unop you? You're not supposed to be. No, I like being up. Slash help off. No, no, no. Okay, fine. Slash I just wanted off. to look at. I just wanted to look at the command blocks. No. Dang it. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> okay, so. Keep, keep telling us about the uh, the things, the command blocks. So, uh, unfortunately, in addition to the command blocks that would teleport you anywhere, there were command blocks that would spam the chat and things like that. Okay, so this seems it to... It was completely crazy. Yeah. With the command blocks turned on. Completely unplayably crazy. Unplayably crazy. You'd be spammed all over the map. You'd be teleported everywhere. Well, I guess this would be helpful if we ran into blazes. Yeah, okay, so I'll, I'll pick up some of these snowballs. Now, one change that I made to the map for this gallery showing was that I went in and removed all the ender dragons, ender dragon spawners, and wither spawners. Mm. I got rid of most of the withers, but I don't think I got all of them, and I think that that adds a little bit to the joy of the experience, and that's part of the reason that, you know, it's a survival server to keep things interesting. Uh-huh. So let's see. So it's frustrating sometimes. You're like, oh, cool, a house, and then it's just empty. Uh, oh, here, here's a uh, here's a sign that I think you'll like, bitches. Where is the I'm, Joe? I'm over here. I'm activating my Joe locating device. Burr -dump. Burr -dump. There you are. Burr -dump. There you are. Howdy. It's in here. Y'all. That's in here. So I look this? out here, and, and there's something on fire. And I'm like, I wonder yes. what that is out on fire out there. And then there's a sign that tells me. Oh, welcome to The Lost Dog by Geeky Comps, the dog go. Collect points, complete the map, only destroy clay. This points or gold bars. That are, what am I looking for? Um, okay, my car is on fire, huh? With my keys in it! Damn it! You know, I really don't know why somebody would be so frustrated. I mean, they're already in their house, so it's not like yeah. they can't get into their house. And also, there's a huge hole in the back of their house, so they could clearly get back out. I don't know if this hole was here when the map was made. I think this may have been added by magic. The, the magic Spawners scripting. Family. So apparently, the Spawners family? 
You know, people are really bad at thinking up last names for their kids. Mm -hmm. Mikey just has the same last name as me. For some reason, this map spawned with a bunch of glowstone that didn't light up. I think that's... It just, it just lit up. Yeah. You touched it. You were the magic, Joe, that needed to happen. So I think happen. that that means that these chunks have never been loaded during sunrise or sunset, which means there's a good chance we could find some good loot out here. Oh, that's, see, that's a tactic. That's a tactic that you could use to help you find uh, loot. Like, say, if you were playing this, I don't know, competitively? Mm -hmm. Like, if you were to, for example, play an MC, no, not an MC edited, a Universal Health Challenge Healthcare. What does that UHC stand for? Umpteen Cartilage? Uh, it stands for Ultra Maximum Competition, I think. Yeah, that one. Whoa. Veg yeah. I just found the best, uh, the best UHC chests. Yeah, okay. ultra comp ultra hard something. <gasps> Imba. I know, right? Oh, Ooh. oh my, oh my god. Right. <laughs> I don't even know how this is gonna work. I'm gonna hit you with it. Hey, Joe. Whoa. Was that like an insanely uh, what do you call it? It, um, it has enchanted? every enchantment. It has every enchantment on it up to level 127. This is. I am God. <laughs> we kind of intended this to be so unbalanced that it would turn out as balanced if we actually did try to do a uh, UHC. I like how thing. we were trying to talk up the fact that we could use this map on UHC, and then you know, okay, maybe we so should let's let's TP. You should have asked me to use Joe the bed. Hills no, says, don't do that. It's on survival. That just we got it. We're trying to make a video. It's okay. They'll understand. Uh... Oh my god, look at the looting! Look what looting 127 did! That's a lot of stuff. Oh my god, this is amazing! Was that sword in like a like special this. chest look, or something? We... No, it was mixed in with all the other diamond swords. Look at the skeleton, watch the skeleton. You watching? Watch the skeleton. Where is he? Wait, does he? can he even hurt me? There's... I don't know. Boop. Look at that! <laughs> you might want to go ahead Boop. and... This is my favorite Are sword. Bow... Oh, dude, there's like two stacks of arrows in here. Uh-huh, arrows. Oh, this is a nice chest, too. I like this area. This is a good area. Yeah, so there's PvP maps mixed in here with other stuff as well. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Man. Close quarters gotta get, combat. Gotta get geared up. So, there's also kind of, in, in general, there's, uh, the maps are stitched together based on elevation, but they're also stitched together based on their content. Like, he could tell what was a skyblock map or what was an ocean map or what was a survival map or a flatland map or that sort of thing. It looks like we've entered an area with a bunch of PvP maps. He, yep. uh, Leonard calls these mega biomes because he just needed a word to make it clear to people that they weren't traditional Minecraft biomes. And yeah. why not just use the word mega? Yeah. Well, hey, not? there's a creeper there, Vetch, if you want to buy a creeper. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even matter that you're opt at this point. That sword is so OP. I love it. I like being OP. It's a fun. I enjoy yeah. this. This is okay. this is acceptable to me. So I like how we when we were talking, trying to talk up to the viewers the fact that you could use this for a UHC map. And mm -hmm. uh, go find something like this. Now to be clear to the viewers at home watching this, uh it's totally possible with scripting to like not spawn any chunks that have, say, an enchanted item in it. Right, Joe? Yeah, well, for example, he's got rules that say if a chunk has more than, like, 20 diamond blocks, like if it's just a giant tower full of diamond blocks, he's not going to include that in the map here. Yeah. So, um, and he you, also, could, you could filter out, you know, the really overpowered stuff. Mm -hmm. And he had to actually go out of his way to exclude all the FTB maps and modded Minecraft maps. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, when you load them up in... You know, yeah, it would, it would crash. Well, or even if it didn't crash, there'd just be all these missing blocks. You know, because somebody would build a uh, a tower out of the FTB blocks, and then they wouldn't be in there. You know. Yeah. But I think this would be amazing, and let it, let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, to use this script to create UHC maps that are completely crazy, and we can use the we can use the scripts to define what we want and don't want. So we, we can 
chill out some of the, the craziness and make it so, okay, we only want, you know, chunks that have a chest with food, no enchanted items, or, you know, a, it's got to have some wood in it or no wood. Or, or so you, could, can... you could say that, like, one in 20 chests has whatever, but exactly. th- then you'd have a bunch of other random terrain because you need places to fight, too. But I think this would be good because instead of everybody being underground mining all the time, you know, this yeah. would be all about wandering through structures looking for stuff and, you know, cr- having open areas to cross, which is dangerous, you know. Yeah, it would all it would be all about scavenging and not digging around in a cave for three episodes. Oh, yeah. So I think that's – I think this has a lot of promise for um, that – what was – ultra competition, hard, ultra hard competition. It's It's like – other but spelled with a U, and then like heroin but spelled with an H, and then like underwater cards, health, underwater like, healthcare, underwater healthcare. I think that's it, because it, it's like that other acronym, something creepy under boat and. Yeah, yeah. I'm just wandering creepy. around at this point. Yeah, but. it's like you never know what the next chunk is gonna be. It's completely crazy. I just, ooh, ooh, what's this? I don't know what this is. I'm going to go in here. So there's what's a single-player version of the map that people can download um, from the uh, website that Vetches will probably put in the comments. Yep, uh, that's going in the video description. Okay, cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, that's going uh, in the video description. The single-player map is only about 10,000 chunks. Um, but, yeah, the multiplayer map, once we reach the end of the month, we're going to upload before and after editions so people can <gasps> see how folks running around here, you know, affects it over the course of the month. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is I think this is amazing. This is really cool. There's all kinds of stuff that you can find in Joe, oh, I found TNT. Um, okay, I hope you didn't find too much TNT. I found a lot of TNT. I'm a little worried. I found so much TNT. It's great. I'm gonna get it. I gotta go up there and get it. I'm gonna get it. I wanna get the TNT. Uh, but it's like there's glass up there. I don't. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, I found an ender chest. I'm tempted to put some of my better items in there just in case Vetches hits me with a sword again. I am so glad that was not primed TNT because that's the kind of thing I would do in oh, my maps. Well, so that's the thing is for all we know, there might be spawn chunks from some of your maps in here. Oh yeah, that would. Well, I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure on that, right? Because none of my stuff is on Planet Minecraft. Okay, or Minecraft. What, whatever the the big Minecraft forums and all those. Yeah, yeah. And if he's if he's if he's crawled the, that's a silverfish block. <laughs> that was okay. clever. Can you can you disguise silverfish blocks as TNT? Because that that so. sounds like a Vetch's idea. Like, yeah, that's a great idea. So then, you know, me or Zisto puts down a ton of TNT to blow open, a, you know, a dungeon or something, and then it's just silverfish, silverfish everywhere. Yeah, that would be amazing. I kind of wish, um, yeah, like you could have a, a silverfish block and then just like make it appear as anything. Mm-hmm. That would be so cool. I would love that. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking down all the TNT. I'm just running around up here, waiting for one of these to be primed. No, none of them are primed. Okay, my I have a a stack full of TNT now, I believe. Oh, that can only go poorly for everyone. Yes, that just has TNT. <sighs> Most importantly, though, is the sword. This is amazing. I so I just want to run around and kill people with this now. Well, I kind of wouldn't mind um farming monsters just to see how crazy looting level 127 is. Yeah, it's. Pr- uh, whoa, there's an upside down chicken here named Dinner Bone. I guess that's oh. the only way to get upside down chickens. Yep. Yeah, I, I found some well, TNT too. Ah, oh, moving up in the world. Yeah, and I've well, got these cool redstone torches, so let me just. Can't is there anything else that we should mention to the viewers? Um, this. Whoa! Surprised that didn't kill me kind of blew something up um can't think of anything else so that's about it and check the all the relevant links that you guys will need will be down in the video description and i 
I'm gonna continue running around with Joe here with my overpowered sword and look at all of this cool stuff. But we will see you guys next time. Keep adventuring. Take it easy.